Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So we are back with the... We're doing Inktober, but remember, I'm doing my favorite Halloween can uh, candy. <laughs> my favorite Halloween character is counting down from number six, since I obviously missed number seven. Um, so this would be number five, which happens to be Emily and Victor from Tim Burton's The Corpse Bride. And if you haven't seen The Corpse Bride yet, um, it's on Netflix. And I saw something interesting when I was re I was actually watching it last night while I was doodling this and then today um I, no I only watched it last night I didn't watch it twice but I saw something interesting I did not know that Laika is it L-A-I-K-A studios which which is the the animation studios that are stop motion and they did Paranorman, Box Trolls, Coraline, and Kubo so I thought it was interesting I saw that Tim Burton actually partnered up, partnered up with Laika for the corp corpse ride. I have no idea if, I, if I'm actually saying that right. Laika? Laika? I don't know. It's an interesting name, so you'll have to correct me down below because apparently I say everything wrong. <laughs> but anyways, so I thought I'd share with um, my experience with Corpse Bride a long, long, long time ago when it was released into theaters. I remember wanting to go see it with my babysitter because at the time I was only like 11 or something like that. I don't know. I don't even know how old I was. I was pretty young though. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what year it was. I think it was high school for me. I don't know, but I still had a babysitter because I obviously couldn't drive at the time and my parents are in the racing business so they left me behind as usual and I remember sitting and watching the uh, uh, an HBO exclusive on the corpse ride and the making of the corpse ride and I thought oh I'm gonna watch this I had no idea it was going to spoil the entire movie it spoiled it so I mean, this is like, it, as soon as I went and saw it in theaters with my babysitter, um, oh my gosh, it was exactly like the HBO exclusive. Like, the whole timeline, it was the biggest spoilish dumpster trash ever. <laughs> so, I mean, oh, I, I was so upset that I knew everything was going to happen. There was no surprise whatsoever to the, sto to, to the storyline of The Corpse Bride for me. So... <laughs> It was not a good experience. So I, I learned from this movie and that exclusive to never ever watch an exclusive to a movie ever again. I will never watch any behind scenes or anything. I still have trouble looking at trailers because I feel like trailers reveal so much to movies and I'm always like, no, 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 I don't want to see that. Like, I, I stopped. I start refusing to watch the Marvel trailers or the Pixar trailers just because they ruin the storyline. And I mean, I just want to stay away from it. I stayed away from like, that's why you'll never see me do like, oh, here's a reaction video to the trailer of the upcoming Pixar movie Coco. No, I'm never going to do that because I want to enjoy it for myself. And I feel like trailers and exclusives and behind the scenes interviews, they they reveal too much so I'll usually watch those after the movie after I've seen it not the trailers but like the interviews with the actors and the behind the scenes um yeah I'll totally I I, I just learned my lesson from Corpse Bride I did not want to to ruin I don't want to ruin any future movies or animations like I did with the corpse bride because that was just miserable it was like a waste of money sitting there and knowing the whole storyline like it wasn't there wasn't like a book problem because usually the books are better than the movies and you kind of know what's gonna happen but at the same time the movie's always gonna be different no matter what and I just feel like I spoiled it completely that's why I'll usually read books after the movies and I mean I always make a point to read the books and then I find out oh they're making this book into a movie I don't know it's just it's spoil spoil spoils but it's interesting to see two different views but I will never watch an exclusive to an animation or watch any interviews because they just give way too much away and I don't want that anymore but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this. Here's my rant on why you shouldn't watch exclusives before movies. And I hope you all have a most wonderful day.